Hello everyone, welcome to what's new and coming to Files Experience in Microsoft 365. I'm Ankita Kirti, Product Marketing Manager for OneDrive. And with me today, I have Carter Green and Arjun Tomar, who are from the OneDrive engineering team. Our agenda for today is to give you a quick snapshot of the Files Experience in Microsoft 365, followed by some real fun product demos that are going to be done by uh, Carter and Arjun to show you all the product innovations that we've rolled out in the past couple of months and the ones that are upcoming. We'll end the session with the latest and greatest roadmap of OneDrive. Microsoft OneDrive is the underlying technology that powers collaborative files experience across Microsoft 365. It's the reason why you can access and share all your files from across Microsoft 365 apps and any of your device. It's also the reason why you and your team can collaborate on a file seamlessly. OneDrive also inherits all the same Microsoft 365 security, compliance, and governance protocol, making it easy for you to deliver high quality result in an app and an experience that you trust. Working on your own can start two ways. You can either start from scratch where you create a file directly in OneDrive or maybe upload a file to OneDrive, or it can start by you knowing where to find a file that you need to work on. Now OneDrive keeps all your files in one place so that it's easily accessible and you don't spend and you don't waste time searching for them. But just in case you cannot find still that one particular file, don't worry about it. The unified search scans all your files across Microsoft 365 and takes you back to that one file that you need to work on. OneDrive also makes transition to cloud very easy. With OneDrive Sync, be it a local file or a cloud file, it's all one and the same. And you have access to the most updated version. But all of these benefits are moot if your work is not secure, but that's not a problem with OneDrive. All the files that you've created in OneDrive are private until and unless you choose to share it with someone. And even when you've shared the file with an internal or an external stakeholder, you have full control over the file. You can see who is editing the file, who is viewing the file, or who is downloading the file. Let me show you an example of how we are ensuring a more coherent files experience to power your individual work. Here I am on my Windows 11 device, and you can see we are bringing to you a native files experience. For instance, the file sharing buttons default to OneDrive sharing in the top ribbon once you're signed in. This experience is available with our latest Windows 11. Some of the best work we do, we do as a team. OneDrive not only allows you to share your files and folders with folks within and outside your organization, it also helps you set access permissions so that it's easy for you to see who is editing your file, accessing your file, or downloading your file. OneDrive enables a consistent files experience across all the apps of Microsoft 365. So whether you're sharing from Outlook or Teams or SharePoint, the sharing experience is consistent. All the collaboration tools that help your team deliver high quality results, like add mentions, comments, track changes, um, in uh, real time collaboration are all because of OneDrive. It also supports formal approval requests so that your files meet the organizational standards. And finally, working with teams lights up another important feature, popular around me. Popular Around Me will recommend files that are important and popular or trending among your teammates. For a growing number of our customers, Teams has now become the place where all of their work gets done. So for us, it's important that we ensure a coherent files experience, whether you're working in Teams, in OneDrive, or in SharePoint. To best illustrate this, let me show you Add to OneDrive, a feature we released last year that enables you to add shared folders, whether it is in SharePoint or Teams, to your OneDrive. As you can see, it is now also available in Teams channel files. Now, if I'm working on Teams and I come across a shared folder that I'd like easier access to, I can click on Add to OneDrive which will add a shortcut of this folder to my personal OneDrive. 
This is just one of the many examples of how we are offering a coherent files experience across OneDrive, SharePoint, and Teams. This also enables other functionalities. For example, you'll soon be able to access document library metadata directly within Teams. These shared files experiences in Teams will be available come 2022. Here is a quick refresher of OneDrive and all its various offerings. OneDrive powers the collaborative files experience across Microsoft 365, whether you're working individually or collaborating within your team. It connects you to all your individual and shared files, simplifying access, capture, and backup. You can easily organize your files, coordinate workflows, and quickly find the files that are important to you with intelligent search and recommendations. To improve your productivity, OneDrive empowers you to securely share and collaborate with your colleagues in real time, whether they are within or outside your organization. And finally, all your files are backed up, secured and protected by enterprise level security, compliance and manageability that help prevent an accidental loss or malicious attacks. I will now hand over to Carter to showcase some of the amazing fun product demos. Carter, over to you. Thanks, Ankita. Let's focus on what OneDrive does best, and that is getting your files into the cloud and accessing them on whatever device your workflow requires. I'd like to first talk about GNOME Folder Move, or KFM. KFM has been a huge enabler of hybrid work in Windows this past year, and it keeps your desktop, documents, and pictures folders in sync no matter where you're working from or on whatever device you're using. Today, I'm happy to show you KFM on macOS Monterey, as well as some other macOS improvements that will improve your OneDrive experience. On macOS Monterey, I can open up my OneDrive preferences to see a backup tab. I can manage my KFM configuration from here and see which folders are syncing. Next, I can go in Finder, and you can see that I have the updated Files on Demand experience which entails a native-like sync state iconography set, as well as a new entry point on the Finder sidebar for navigating to your OneDrive files. The power of Files on Demand is you can choose to free up space by keeping files only in the cloud, or you can mark them as always available to use them offline. If you're on a newer Mac like this one with an M1 processor, OneDrive is natively compiled for it, so we're no longer using Rosetta 2 for emulation. So let's talk through what I just showed you. I showed you GNOME Folder Move on macOS. This allows you to continue to save your files in the familiar folders like desktop and documents. It also allows you to access these files anywhere you are, on a phone or on another device as well as keeping these files protected on the cloud so that they are not just on your local device. I also showed you the updated Files on Demand experience for macOS with native-like sync state iconography and Finder and an updated navigation flow. Files on Demand allows you to have a fast initial sync time with, this, with your files, but saves your, saves your disk space and lowers your network utilization overall. And then at the end, I showed you M1 support, a natively compiled, performant-friendly, and battery-friendly sync client. All of these changes will be coming to the Insider's Ring soon, and so I invite you to jump on and join us. Let's talk about accessing some more great content in OneDrive. Teams meeting recordings have been a blessing because it allows attendees to review meetings on their own time. But these recordings might start to pile up for you, so I'm excited to share updates that make finding these meeting recordings even easier. When you record a Teams meeting, that video is automatically saved directly on your OneDrive for private meetings and on SharePoint for Teams channel meetings. This makes it easier to locate and share video recordings. Have you ever thought about what a meeting recording would look like in a document format? Well, let me show you. Here you can see that the transcription is part of the video file. So you can jump to any part of the meeting that you're interested in. 
You can also explore the recording based on what slides were presented during the meeting with PowerPoint Live, so you can easily find the part of the meeting that's important to you. You can see conversations going on with full comment support for videos now with at mention support. So I showed you the updated Teams meeting recordings and how these recordings are saved in OneDrive and in SharePoint. I'd like to invite you to start recording meetings today to take advantage of these intelligent improvements that are coming soon. I want to show you more ways to access your web content. Have you ever printed from OneDrive? Traditionally, an IT admin or a device owner had to install a printer on the device so that they could use it to print. Or in a large organization where people often have multiple devices or use multiple printers, this experience can be unmanageable. Let me show you a better way. I'm going to select this collaborative Word document that I want to print, and I can click on this newly introduced print option. I now see the print dialog where I can search and select any printer in my organization. I'm gonna select this printer. By the way, I also have the option to select a local printer if I want. I then get all of the familiar print options. I'll want this document to be printed in color. I can also choose the resolution and the quality, and even if I need space for stapling. Now I can print, and I have my confirmation for my printing and that the doc has been sent to Universal Print. Now this might look like the normal OneDrive website, that how it would appear in the browser. But if I exit full screen, you can see that this is actually a OneDrive web experience bundled as a progressive web map or a PWA, which will offer a rich, reliable, and native experience. So I showed you Universal Print. Universal Print integration with OneDrive on the web will help you print whatever you want, wherever you want. Printing documents hosted in OneDrive directly to a printer in your organization without needing to install printer drivers is a huge step forward in modern printing. I'm also happy to have showed you the OneDrive Progressive Web App. This is available today. I want to now have you focus your attention on Arjun as he dives deeper into some more web experience improvements. Thank you, Kara. I'm so excited to share some of the updates that we have in store for you. With OneDrive serving as the hub for all your files, we want to make it easier for our users to get to the most relevant shared files and locations straight from the OneDrive. Let's look at a few updates we've made in this space. It's not uncommon today to work on files in multiple locations. These could be various teams or SharePoint sites. And in such a scenario, finding a way to relevant files and folders in multiple locations can often get very time consuming. I'm excited to show you quick access in OneDrive, which will now make finding shared files and locations so much easier. We took inspiration from quick access list in Windows File Explorer to create a quick access list in OneDrive that automatically populates a list of your recently used places so you can get back to anywhere you've recently accessed or opened a file from, straight from your OneDrive. We've also added the capability to pin these places in your left navigation bar so that getting to a file location is only a click away. So with quick access, finding your way to those shared files and locations that you most frequently visit will be such an easier experience. And whenever you come across a file or a shared location that you want a quick access link to, just pin them in your left navigation bar and you're good to go. Quick access will be available starting 2022. Now, building on the notion that OneDrive is the hub for all your files, let's revisit Add to OneDrive, a feature that we announced a while ago that lets you add a shortcut of any shared folder or document library straight to your personal OneDrive. We've got great feedback from customers who've used Add to OneDrive, and one of the most frequently requested feature improvements was the ability to move these shortcuts to any other folder in your personal OneDrive. And users wanted this because they wanted to be more in control of how they wanted to organize their content. Well, the good news is now you can. 
as you can see, I have a shortcut to a shared folder in my OneDrive. I can simply take the shortcut and move it to another folder in my OneDrive. And once the shortcut is moved, it will be available wherever I use my OneDrive, whether it's on my phone, PC, or web. With Add to OneDrive Move shortcuts, organizing your content, no matter where it lives, will be so much easier. And I'm so excited for our customers to try this. Add to OneDrive Move shortcuts will be available by the end of this year. Now, let me share some updates we've made around sharing, and I'm so excited to share these updates with you. Because sharing is truly at the heart of collaborative work. It's that action that makes great work between teams happen. When looking at these featured improvements, we paid close attention to the core workflows that users want to enable when they think about sharing a file. And we brought these experiences front and center to our updated share dialogue. Let me now show you these updates. What you see on the screen is our updated and refreshed share dialogue. You can now quickly and easily change between view or edit permissions while sharing a file. We also know how important Teams is when it comes to collaboration. So we've added a new capability that allows users to share directly to Teams. And lastly, the bottom of the dialogue now shows you a quick recap of who has access to your item and also makes it easier for users to jump in to manage access where you can get even more granular control over your settings. Quick permissions, link settings, and shared with are available now, so you can try them today. Copy link, share to Teams, and manage access will be rolling out soon. I wanna now hand over to Carter, who will give updates on some of the innovations with security and compliance. Thanks, Arjun. Compliance and security is a core value prop of OneDrive. Your OneDrive experience should always be up-to-date and secure. One tool that helps you is the Sync Admin Reports that have been in public preview since earlier this year. The reports allow you to monitor Sync clients on Windows devices. They give you more visibility in who is signed in, who has KFM enabled, who has Sync errors preventing files from being uploaded to OneDrive, We've listened to your voice and feedback, and today I'll show you that we've added macOS support as well as filtering and sorting through errors. Opening up to the overview page of the report shows you the health status of the OneDrive Sync client within your organization. Flipping to details, we can see a complete list of Sync clients deployed. With the new custom filtering functionality, you can create filters like this one for just macOS devices. Once filtered, you can view which users are protecting all three known folders or have errors. In this case, you can see Navjot's device is healthy and that she is only protecting the desktop and documents folder on her macOS device. You can also filter to only devices that have errors to see if there are any users you want to reach out to to help address their issues. Those errors help inform you what follow-up actions you will need to take. So I showed you the updated reports with macOS support, filtering and sorting support, and all of this will be coming soon. To achieve the ultimate protection and security within your organization, you'll need to adhere to the sync ideal state for your sync client deployments. The ideal state is a group of settings and configurations you will need to ensure are implemented within your workplace. You can think of it like a framework that you can use to better engage your workplace and to introduce them into the modern desktop. Speaking of modern desktop, have you heard of Windows 365? I like to think of it as my own personal Windows box hosted in the cloud, accessible from any device, really. Did you know that the default OneDrive state in Windows 365 is the sync ideal state? This configuration is truly a requirement for the modern desktop. Here I'm running Windows 365 on my MacBook via the Microsoft Remote Desktop app. This Windows 365 image has silent account config enabled by default. So signing into Windows 365 also signed me into OneDrive. 
The ideal state configuration also brought down my OneDrive files into File Explorer, and it silently performed KFM so that my files were accessible immediately from the folders that I knew and loved. I can also show you that Files on Demand is the default here by showing you that these files on the desktop are not taking up any space on disk until I need to be productive with them. So you can see the sync ideal state is fully enabled here on the system. Windows 365 has a minimal admin configuration and maintenance cost, but also it's a simple, powerful, and secure workplace where you can access from any device. We're happy to bring the sync ideal state to this environment. All right, Ankita, bring us home with what's on our roadmap. Thank you, Arjun and Carter. Folks, I hope you enjoyed these exciting demos. I want to end the session with a quick snapshot of our roadmap. Here are the features that have rolled out or are available uh, in the recent time. Huge focus on 64-bit support on Windows, expiring external access, and the OneDrive SharePoint Admin Center consolidation. Carter and Arjun have showed you a couple of these features in their demos. Coming up, we have a few amazing features lined up, specifically the updates to uh, Mac OS with files on demand refresh, uh, sync admin reports, support, and known folder move. We also have a brand new ARM native support for Windows, as well as some features around photos for web. Thank you so much for watching our session. I really, really hope that you found everything we shared valuable. We hope to connect with you guys soon.